Hey guys, how are you all doing? I am Subharjad Bhadrohad and welcome to the channel. On this video, I am going to tell you what is IV Tech, the term used by Honda in its petrol cars. Yeah, we will talk about it in this video, but before that, let's hit the intro. So yeah, what is IV Tech? But before that, there are few things you need to know to understand this better. They are VTEC and VTC. So let me just start off by giving you guys a crash course on a 4 stroke petrol engine. So here are the 4 strokes. The first stroke, the suction stroke where the intake valve opens and the air and fuel mixture enters into the combustion chamber. The second stroke which is the compression stroke, the intake valve closes and the piston moves upward compressing the air and fuel mixture to a greater temperature and pressure. The third stroke is a power stroke. Just a little bit before the piston reaches TDC which is the top dead center, the spark ignites which combusts air and fuel mixture inside the chamber creating a bang which pushes the piston downwards. The fourth and the final stroke is the exhaust stroke. When the piston reaches BDC, bottom dead center, the exhaust valve opens to let the burnt gas out and the piston pushes out the exhaust gas as it moves upward again, after which the exhaust valve closes and the intake valve opens to let in fresh air and fuel mixture into the chamber and the cycle continues along. Now, the timing at which the intake and exhaust valves opens and closes depends upon the camshaft. In a normal camshaft, there are cam lobes which as it rotates, opens or closes the valve through the rock roms. Ok, so now we got all of that out of the way. So what is VTEC? VTEC stands for Variable Valve Timing and Lift Electronic Control. It is basically a camshaft with two different profiled cam lobes for each valve which operates under different loads to provide more power or more efficiency depending upon the need. As shown in the video, here are two different profiled cam loads. The one in the middle is for top end performance. Under normal conditions which is low RPM and low load, the runner over the big cam loads moves freely, while the other runners over the small loads are connected and are opening and closing the valves. But when you rev up the engine and after a certain RPM, say 6000 RPM, a solenoid pumps hydraulic fluid into the reservoir which pushes the pin inside the rocker arm which now connects all the runners and locks them in place. Now since they are locked in place, the runner follows the bigger cam lobes in the middle which means the valves open more to allow more air and fuel mixture to get into the chamber which means more power. I hope I was clear and understandable. If not, I will include videos on this topic done by other famous channels below in the description so you guys can get a better idea about this. So now, before moving on to VTC, there is also a VTEC E which is basically the VTEC technology but instead of using it to get more power, the VTEC E uses the same technology for improved fuel efficiency. Lame, right? <laughs> but whatever. So moving on, next to the VTC, which stands for Variable Timing Control. It is basically a simple system. The camshaft consists of single cam lobes for each valve, unlike VTEC which has two or more lobes. So in this system, it works as normal. Until the it needs more power or efficiency, then a hydraulic fluid is pumped through the camshaft actuator's reservoirs, rotating the camshaft slightly, which in turn means the cam lobes are rotated as well. And now the timing at which the valve opens in the cylinder changes. Due to this movement, this can be moved to different degrees based on the requirement for more power or better efficiency. This is the reason it has much more freedom and infinite adjustability over the VTEC. Now, we have come to the important part of the video that is what is IVTEC? The IVTEC stands for Intelligent Variable Valve Timing and Lift Electronic Control which is basically a system which combines the VTC Variable Timing Control 
and VTEC together. In IVTEC engines, you will have a VTC on the camshaft which controls the intake valves because that is where this system makes more sense and you will have the normal VTEC in the camshafts controlling the exhaust valves. This is basically the IVTEC. But wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There are two types in IVTEC as well. The first one is the combination of VTC and VTEC as said above. But the second type of IVTEC is the combination of VTC and VTEC E. Yeah, that fuel efficient VTEC. But the strange thing is Honda calls both of them IVTEC and I wonder why. Hmm, probably because some stupid could think that the VTEC really kicks in. But the truth is the first type of IVTEC with performance VTEC is only used in Honda's performance cars like the NSX, Type R and SI versions and everything else from the CRV, Accord, Civic, City and everything gets the second type of IVTEC with the stupid VTEC E. I am damn sure 95% of the guys in the YouTube whether viewers or even some YouTubers driving normal Hondas and going Yo! VTEC kicked in yo! Doesn't even know that there are different kinds of VTEC. And to those YouTubers, sorry to say this, the VTEC won't kick in you. The only thing that kicks in you is more efficiency. Not that it is a bad thing, but I'm just saying. So that is why when you see the performance models of Honda Cars engine drive up to 8 or 9000 RPM, most of the normal cars with second type of IV tech drives to only about 6000 or 500 RPM or in some cases 7000 RPM redline. V tech might have been invented by Honda and popularized, but almost every manufacturer has a similar type of system to that of Honda's IV tech technology nowadays. The Hyundai and Toyota calls it VTVT or VVTI sometimes. Maruti has it as VVT in their cars. Mitsubishi has MyVac and so on and on. So that's it guys. I know some of you guys might have been confused right now of all this. I could do it much more in depth but then it would make the video over an hour long and nobody wants to watch it. So this is a short rundown of this. I will include links to the articles and other videos on YouTube which goes into this in depth. So you guys can check them out if you want. And so that's it guys for this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing if you like what you see. And also like, share and look at some of my other videos as well. They are okay, I guess. But anyways, thank you guys and girls for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, Supercharged Petrolhead here. Over and out. Spooky.